It's Thursday, September 2nd, and we're going to be playing the Booster Box game today with Strixhaven Japanese Set Booster Box Edition. Looking for mystical archives of the Japanese alternate art variety, especially the foils. They are still quite pricey, uh, especially just a few of them are really pricey, and uh, it would just take a couple of those to really exceed what I paid for an entire case of this, which is what I have, which is what we're going to be going through try to see if we can exceed that so let's get going let's see how we do as usual I'll be scanning these up with the scanner which is not ready one second there we go scanner ready the way that the professor does it or as I call him the other Brian uh, looks like a lot of work uh, I would like to cheat and use the scanner so let's get into these here let's see how we do Strix Haven. Got the uh, side opener style, and we're going to go through these relatively quick. Um, well, we'll see if we will anyway. So, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to read other anything other than the artist's name there. So I don't know what that card would have been. I'm not quite that familiar with everything, and we're going to bust through. Uh, there's a snarl that's cool and we got our first uh, Japanese art what is that because I can't read it so let's cheat that is an ephemerate 1425 so here we go we'll keep those all right there and uh, <clears throat> I paid about $95 for each of these boxes right so add that up each box has to exceed 95 bucks to you know do the booster box game but I'm not running down to my local game store uh, like the professor does. It's a Luminancer. Um, I already own six of these because <laughs> I got a deal on them, right? Uh, let's see. A rare land. I'm not going to scan it. This one looks like a dark ritual. That was a very dark ritual indeed. Excellent. So, uh, village rights. I'm sorry. Buck 77 for that one. Um, put it here. The alternate. So, hopefully, we'll get a lot of. Um, Japanese alternate arts. Not sure how many foils are supposed to be in uh, the set boxes. Uh, we'll count them up here at the end. And what would this be? Wait, I will pull the rares at least. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Crux of Fate, Mythic, 1351, alternate art. There we go. Endless Sands now. Wow, it really doesn't know it. <laughs> there we go, it's a fairy's protection. 2646 the English version I, I'm gonna count that though because I think that's a card that would uh, would uh, do do pretty well even as a Japanese um, alternate showcase so there we go ten dollars we'll throw that one in there too Uh, let's see. For one red, this looks like a shock. Am I, am I right? Or I guess, sorry, lightning bolt. Yeah, even better. Uh, 2486. 
uh, in the non-foil, so that would have been a good one to get in foil. A Vesuva from the list. Well, that's okay. Time Spiral Remastered now. The list, yes. 13 bucks. All right. Alternate art, 633. Okay. There you have it on box number one. We came up with that about 140 bucks worth, so that uh, that works. Um, when I get back to this, we'll add on and see how we do over the course of all of the boxes. It's the next day, so let's do the next box. Here we go. Um, so, didn't get a foil alternate out of the last box. So now, I'm hopeful to get a good one out of here. That is pretty decent, I think. It's a time warp Japanese alternate art. There we go. So, okay, you can actually tell there is the, the rarity symbol there. I didn't actually notice that's a mythic. So, excellent. A uh, foil one of these is probably be about 300 bucks. So, definitely hoping for that next time. Um, but that is a great card, and it pushes us over the total we needed for. Going on to the next box, which we're going to be doing no matter what. And maybe we'll get lucky and actually get a foil. Let's see, we got some foil, or it's not foil. It's the next one is a foil. Uh, for two blues, is a counterspell? Very nice, so that's good. Twenty nine ninety nine for the counter spell. So at least two kind of hit cards, even though they're not foil, out of this box. So that's nice. It's a growth spiral, which is uh, pretty decent, right? Eight bucks or so. Very cool. All right, so that box turned out really okay, just on some non foils. It's another edition of the Booster Box game. Strixhaven Japanese Alternate Edition. Been doing pretty good so far. That's two boxes in a row. No foil Japanese alt art. So that's got me wondering, are we maybe headed for like one hit in this case? Are we going to get maybe more than one? Just uh, kind of interesting. What do you guys think down below? How am I going to do here? So at least, you know, on the scanner, looks like I'm doing pretty good per box so far. Pulling out just some pretty decent uh, of the alt arts. And I'm having fun. We're all here together enjoying this. And isn't that what this is all about? Claim the Firstborn again, which was about yeah, less than a buck.
the scanner can it see it eliminate Japanese alternate art a dollar twelve so that is our foil alternate and it is considerably less than what we were hoping for when it comes to a foil alternate art so we are hoping to get a few more of those to make up for that so says more witch and then for three and two black it's a giant dragon it's a mythic oh and there we go um but being i forget what it was but it must have been worth a little bit we actually got another foil alternate so that's in this snakeskin veil looks like um so the last two boxes had none this box has two that's pretty cool all right um Snakeskin Veil, I think, is what that is. No, I'm sorry. Adventurous Impulse, another, another 99 cent foil alternate. <clears throat> well, that's what you get when you gamble, right? All right, maybe we'll get lucky, and get some more. One blue brainstorm. Hmm. Yeah, brainstorm, 1055. So there we go. And ew, this is this a Inquisition? Kozilek? Yeah, sure enough, 1097. So there's a couple pretty decent ones in a row there. This thing and this is what is that okay hold on let me see if I can figure this out it's uh some kind of horse creature this is a mythic <laughs> what is this I have no idea natural order well that's pretty solid there we go almost 20 bucks okay yeah I would not I had a hard time guessing that that's okay and there's a lightning bolt so these are, this turned out to be pretty good when I found it before. Let's see. We're at 390. 414. So that thing is 24 bucks or so. A couple of those. And a Croson Grip. Oh, another foil. So three foils in the box here. This one is, gosh, what is that going to be? Like... Mana leak? What is she doing? She's it's this a rare. For one and a blue. This is a memory lapse. Similar to a mana leak, right? So even though but just as a foil, it's not one of the huge ones. 838. So I mean I guess you can put it over here, sure. But that's really interesting. We got three foil alternate arts out of this one box and zero out of the other two boxes. Hmm. Another uh, alternate, it is. Something that was a few bucks, I can't remember. So there's my fifth foil uh, alternate art, Infuriate. And as a foil, it's a dollar. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, that was really interesting. <laughs> Luckily, we exceeded the box price. Um, but there we go. So I got three more of these to go. I'm really hoping to get uh, more foils, uh, some that trend a little higher than these. Which they're fine, they're great, but um, there's a big difference in some of these bigger cards, so we'll get to those soon.
It's Wednesday, September 8th, so it's taken me pretty much six days to get to all of these boxes. That's the way my life works. And I uh, lost the audio on the last video. That's always fun. So, get into this last box and hope for the best. Uh, I've been very uh, hit or miss, mostly miss on the big foils. The, uh, the foil Japanese alt arts, uh, the biggest one I found is like eight bucks. So really hoping for something spicy out of this last box. And, oh my gosh, three and two black. I cannot remember what this card is. But being, what was that? I don't know. That was a crux of fate. And it's about 12 bucks. We've got a uh, brainstorm. Uh, we found a few of these and they're pretty decent as a uh, non-foil so we'll take it at this point i would take the non-foil as well let's see we've got inquisition of kozilek which has been okay as well but being i think it's just about 10 bucks And a lightning bolt. Would have been nice to have a foil of that. Being so just the alternate version is a looked like it was over 20 bucks, so that's a nice hit. Foil would have been even more good. And uh, a one one white casting cost card. What is that? Gosh. Well, it was worth a little bit. There we go, Belladros. Wither Bloom, 15 bucks. And did we get anything else of interest? We got, oh, this is a natural order. We did find one of these before. Um, pretty cool art, I like that. So it's, again, could have used the foil version there. So that one ends up being a, a little bit, I think it was like 20, maybe 30 bucks. I didn't catch the difference there, so. All right, last pack. This has got to have it. Got to have that foil demonic tutor in this pack. Certainly it's in here. Are we going to get it? Let's find out. Doesn't look like it. We got this and this and a foil cultivate and that was it. So that is what it ended up being. I spent uh, just under 600 on a case and uh, kind of eking out uh, a win here, if you will. Really needed like a really big foil and it never came through. So this box did not have any foil alternates. Uh, so that was three out of the case. Half of the case did not have a foil alternate inside of it. The other three each had like four or five, and but they were all the lackluster ones, you know, they were commons and uncommons. <clears throat> so very, very strange on the collation for this. It was like they're not anything guaranteed, it seems. It's all very randomized or unrandomized. I don't know. It's it's hard to put my finger on it. What do you guys think down below? Thanks for watching as usual. Uh, hit the like button and catch my other videos and catch you later.